In the last video, we saw what is stemming. Today, we will see how to use stemming algorithms present in NLTK package. In particular, we will look at Porter stemmer. So let's begin in our notebook. So the first thing that we need to do is import NLTK. And then from NLTK dot stem, we will import Porter stemmer and then we can create an object of that and let's quickly see what are the functions available in this Porter stemmer so this is the list of functions and we will mainly be interested in this stem function so let's use this Let's say we try on coder, coding and code and what it prints. So do the same for coding. And now we just keep code. Now let's run it. So we see that for coder it keeps coder and for other it stems to code. So it's intelligent enough to figure out that uh, code and coding these are accents and this coder is a noun, a person who codes. But uh, stemming is not that intelligent all the time. So we will have some other technical limitation also later in this series. But today we will focus on stemming. Now let's uh, run it on some more examples. This time let's say data and datum. So we know that these are same. One is plural, one is singular but the stemming is not intel intelligent enough and it uh, does not reduce them to a common root instead they, it has kept it separately now let's try a few more example let's say similar to this code coder and coding we can use other accents also like ball balling and baller and here also the same thing so it somehow distinguishes between the accents from the nouns the person who performs the accent but uh, here we saw that it was not able to reduce it now we will use stemming on our own uh, data set sms spam collection data set So we were doing cleaning process. So we will continue with that. So first we need to import the pandas. Then we will import the RE package. Then import a string. So this is just the old thing, we are not doing anything new here. And let's print the first five rows of this data frame. So now we will uh, do the cleaning process. So we, we will define our clean text function
then we will split it so here we got rid of the punctuation and then we will split it into tokens and we will use the re library for that and split on all the non word characters one or more and then pass the text finally text equal to we will again use the list comprehension so we will filter out the stop words here if word not in stop words so we had saved the stop words list of stop words corresponding to english in the nltk corpus in the stop words variable so the words are in stop words then we'll filter it out and finally we will return the text so this is our clean text and then we will add a column for stop words so this is this will contain the clean text which will be free of punctuation and stop words and it will be saved in msg no stop and then we will apply a lambda function on msg column clean text on x not lower and then go ahead and print the first five rows of this data frame so clean text is not defined clean text so we have not run this so first we need to run that and now we see that uh, we have tokenized list of words and these are free from punctuation and stop words now we will introduce the newer thing which is stem the text so we will define our own stemming function and this will take as input tokenized text and for every word in this list we will pass it to our stemming function where we will be using the order stemmer as we saw in the earlier example so here text equal to so again we will use the list comprehension so word for word in tokenized text so this is the list that we are passing and it will look for all the word in this list and instead of returning word we will apply ps dot stem order stemmer on each of these word and then so it, it, this list comprehension will return a new list based on this condition and this action and we will be returning this new list from this stemming function and let's run it and now we will add a new column to our data frame and we will call it msg stemmed and then we will apply lambda function in the similar way on this no stop column and let's print the first five rows of this data frame so again we have some error here key error msg no stop so there is spelling mistake somewhere ok run it again so now we have this new column where we have the stemmed words so uh, we see that this available has become avail and this BUGIS has become 
B-U-G-I. And there would be many more examples. So these messages are not in proper English. These are just uh, common slang. So it's not functioning that well, but you can see the effect somewhere. So that was all for how to use Porter Stemmer in uh, NLTK package. So in the next video, we will see about another technique of uh, reducing these words to the uh, root words and that will be called limitization. So see you in the next video. Thank you.